Hi everyone, it's Angie. And as I finished Moons of Madness recently, this is the next project that was suggested me by some people. <laughs> anyway, I was hinting this title to uh, people at our Discord. So if you want to be up to date with my plans, then you can always uh, jump in there and check it out. I have all the links in the description. Anyway, I am pretty excited because I've been itching to play a more action-packed game for some time. Um, so yeah, I think I don't know a lot about this game. No, I don't know a lot about this game, to be honest. Yes. Hell yeah. <laughs> Why does this game has two loading screens? Thank you. Don't tell me it's going to be a third lo loading screen right now. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. <laughs> that's some cool soundtrack. Oh, wow, that's a cool apartment. I love games when you start in your apartment where you can like... No, your hey, character. Morgan. Wake up. You're burning daylight. You sent the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh, listen. Uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Why am I taking these things? Are they important? Okay, that's weird that I don't have an action under my my button. Uh, let's read our emails. Congrats and welcome. Hello, Morgan. So glad to hear you'll be coming aboard soon. Your first official work day is Monday, March 15th. But first, we have a series of training exercises we run with all new employees. Just some stuff to clear you for life in orbit. Exciting times ahead. Have a good flight and I will see you soon. HR. Ah, uh, okay. Not... Oh. I need to remember that although I click on stuff with the cursor that I have and I'm operating it with my mouse, to click on something instead of mouse, I need to click with the use object so keyboard that's a bit strange delivery hey i sent a package with everything you'll need for your first day uniform transcribe and a neuromod install the neuromod right away as we'll be running some test first thing in the morning just follow the instructions i'll be in touch alex ready hey i just got off the phone with mom and dad they won't be there when the shuttle departs. They're in New York. Company stuff. But they send their best. I think mom's a little disturbed that both her children are going to be outside her gravitational pull at the same time. She said you'd better behave and do everything your big brother says. Okay, actually, she said the opposite. I'm supposed to behave and, <laughs> and do what you tell me. So there you go. That's mom. Anyway, everyone's excited about your ideas up there, so get ready. I'll probably call you in the morning to make sure you're up. See you very, very soon, Morgan. Alex. So Alex is our brother. Hands on electronics. Excerpt from the preface to Hands on electronics by Antoinette so Sokol. Sokol? Because that's a Polish name. Uh, by working through a series of practical experiments, this humble manual will introduce you to the fundamentals of modern analog and digital electronics. By the end, you will be able to construct any simple circuit. As Thomas Edison once said, to invent, you need a good imagination and a pile of junk. Thank you. Cool. And I can climb things. Yeet. And jump. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. That's a very sturdy uh, table. Account of Fermi's question. Excerpt from a book on the existence of extraterrestrial intelligence by Dr. Robert James. 
You know what? Uh, that's a lot of stuff. And I'm not sure if I need to read it. Oh, it's us. I mean, we don't look like a happy family. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't want to throw it, but uh, there we go. Consciousness engineering. Okay, these, this is a lot of lore. I won't be reading everything because that's just too much. This is, again, something. What? Have I moved something? The heart of the walk. Is that the a cooking book? <laughs> Cookbook. That's my purse. These are some things, some letters. King's way of sparkling wine. What is... Oh, King's and way sparkling wine. Okay. Take. Note. Congrats, Morgan. Congrats, Morgan. Alex. Okay, so a well-wishing card from your brother. Let's try G. Okay. F. 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 Okay, I don't want this apartment to blow up. Oh! Oh! F. Take all. Cold mountain green tea. Cool. Okay, so I didn't expect... I was... I thought that this is just a, let's say, simple shooting game. But it has like a... Like a... <laughs> Some, let's say, RPG stuff, you know, searching. Why do all of the games not have working? Can I turn it off? Thank you. T working mirrors. I wonder if we, if we were playing as a guy, would we have a bit different, a bit different apartment? Because to be honest, this looks very, I mean, it is pretty, pretty gender neutral. But there are things like, you know, this closet, for example, with, with lady shoes here, with purses. And, uh, and there is this, in, in the bathroom, you have some necklaces. Okay, there's not enough, not enough uh, makeup thrown around. <gasps> I can go, I can't go. Well, too bad. I wanted to look at the at the scenery. Is it San Francisco? Because I think the bridge. I mean, I don't know. I'm. I was. I was always very bad at uh, geography, so I'm not gonna even pretend I know what I'm looking at. <laughs> okay. And this is this is gonna be our second skin for the longest time now, right? Oh, hello. You Morning, are... Miss Yu. <gasps> hello. Heard there's a chopper on the roof. Must be for you. Oh. Can I close the door? Thank you. Oh, this is... This is cute. Is it an actual aquarium? Or is it just like a... a 3D thingy? But this is a very nice complex. C to crouch. C to crouch. Okay. Ooh. My floor. Ooh. With so many floors in between, it's it's a wonder that I only had an access to those two. And I couldn't choose like a... Uh, oh. This is interesting. And I couldn't choose like a... How do you call it? Um, oh Jesus, not a basement. Uh, the ground floor, yes. I heard that you can kill yourself by jumping here, but I don't want to. Or maybe I should. Have I, can I save? Quick save. Ye oh. <laughs> no, sure, I got an achievement. <laughs> Yeah, I, okay. <laughs> oh shit! 
This looks nice, but where is the... Is this, like, automated? Because it is... Ms. Yu, please oh. make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. No, there is Trans a pilot. Transstar facility is just a short hop. 78 degrees. Clear skies all the way. But the pilot has to have, like, a very small cockpit over there. Considering that here we have such a... Such a huge room. Oh, it's so pretty. I like it so much. Aww. That's a nice view on the bay there. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I wonder why we are, why are we such an important character that we deserve a helicopter ride to the office. That's a big, tall building. Aren't you flying a little bit too close to it, though? Or are we landing here? Oh, okay. This doesn't seem like a long way, but to be honest, if I was supposed to walk from point A to point B, that would probably take me like an hour. And here it was... Here we are, what? You. Half a minute? Mind the glass on the way out. Good luck to you. Mind the glass? See, because... Here is the wall behind the behind the seats, like here. So this is the place for the for the pilot. It's tiny. Like man, how do you fit there? Unless he is sitting in the back, but I I don't see that being a good idea. Who Hello, knows? Doctor Yu. Hi. I'm a Sybil 495 science class operator. Oh, this reminds me so much of uh, Mirror's Edge. These colorful walls. But also, it isn't as clean as Mirror's Edge. You can see little scratches on the walls over here and on the floor. And again, we have these. Welcome, Morgan Yu. You have a... 9 a.m. Appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. Confirm. Jesus, a hundred floors! How tall would be a building like that? Morgan! Finally! Yo! Ah. Uh, yeah. That's me. Brother. Hello. Hey. You don't look terrible in a Transtar uniform. How's your eye? Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a you family tradition. <laughs> Breaking convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Don't overthink it. Hmm. Dr. Bellamy is going to walk you through the process. You're in good hands. All right. We'll be in orbit next week. I promise. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your sister in room A. Right. Cool. Listen, just be yourself. I'll see you after. Okay. Wait, did that chair just move? Dr. Yu. And why is it so dirty in here? DNA, something, something, whatever. It did fucking move! <sighs> I don't know. Good morning, Morgan. I'm Dr. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Uh huh. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. I hope. All good? Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. From okay? red circles? Wonderful. 
Press the red button when you're ready. So just... Wonderful. That's... You're absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B, then. They don't sound very sure. Okay, Morgan. Listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time, relax, think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. What? Hit the red button when you're ready to start. Look. Is she? She's hiding behind the chair. Hmm. Uh, and what am I supposed to do? Synaptic register? At all? No? Well, that's fine. Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. Head into room C. You're doing marvelous. I feel like I'm disappointing you, though. Can I take the chair with me? All right. Here we go. <laughs> For this test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible, without thinking. Just just go for it. Press the red button when you're ready. Okay. I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? Simmons? What? I installed exactly what Tina put down. Did you double check? The speaker's still on. I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. Uh, wait, I have still... Hmm. Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Already did. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. Uh huh. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Okay. Press start on the screen when you're ready. You're planning a vacation. Go somewhere familiar you know you love or try something new. Whenever you're ready, Morgan. Um, I like picking something new. Good. Looks like you've got the hang of it. Keep going. You've been sentenced to death for your actions. How does this make you feel? Afraid, I don't know what will happen. Angry, no one has that no one has that right. Calm, it was worth it. I mean, I don't know what I did. I would probably be afraid. Ooh, that's heavy stuff. A runaway train is bearing down on five people who are tied to the track. You can cause the train to switch tracks, but there is one person tied to the second track. This is the trolley problem, and I don't like it. Oh, Jesus. Well, I don't know. But they didn't, they didn't mention here that the person that is tied to a single track is someone close to you. Because I think usually in the trolley problem, that's that's the that's the thing. I guess we'll switch tracks. So Good. Next. fewer people are killed. A runaway train is bearing down on five people. You are standing on a platform next to an enormously fat man. Pushing him into the track would stop the train. <laughs> that's awful. What the fuck? Um, I don't know. Again, if the if the trolley would stop immediately when I pushed the man, I guess. Again, fewer casualties. Almost done. <laughs> A runaway 
train is bearing down on five people tied to the track. You could stop the train by jumping onto the track, but you would die. Hell yeah! Wow. I'm impressed. Well done. Well done. We're nearly through it. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. In what? In a moment, I'm going to ask you what... Uh... Is my coffee? It's empty. <gasps> Jesus! Oh, oh my god! Security! Security! I... 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 Fucking knew... I fucking knew that there was something wrong. What is happening? Alex. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? She's alive, sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Wait, is it gonna be exactly the same? Was it a dream? Jesus. <laughs> it's pretty funny that considering when I was playing Moons of Mad, it was exactly the same. The main character had a bad dream at the very start and, and it turned out to be like prophecy. <laughs> No, <laughs> okay, I'm taking some stuff. I don't know why I need it, but I'm gonna have it in my inventory. Is this got six messages? Danger, leave now. Danger, leave now. Okay, I guess I'm gonna leave now. There isn't anything. Oh, there's light. I didn't even know there was a light here. Wait, this was standing... This was standing over there earlier. Uh, let's take everything. And let's leave. Danger, leave now. The fuck? Okay, but you know what? Before I... The music changed. I don't like it. Before I leave, you know what? I'll pause. Can I pause? Can I pause? Yes. <laughs> Quick save. Before I leave, I I just wanted to take a maybe short break. Um, because already my heart is racing. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll, we'll run some, I don't know, more tests or whatever next time. Uh, but for now, thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.